Hey guys, so this is going to be a quick clip. I just finished my morning meeting and I've got another. Uh, this is a dual sour latte, latte macchiato. And I spent most of the day today uh, getting the CPU in. I got the ballistics RAM in. I got the H115i AIO in. I think that in was the most painful really. Um, the wiring job was pretty, yeah, it's still pretty temporary. I haven't finalized it like my other builds because normally I would put zip ties and clean things up. A lot of dust in this case, uh, which is something surprising. What I really like about this Rampage 6, look at this part, this is so cool really cool the traces in underneath the plastic and the little oled it's the same as the uh the oled actually is, the execution of the rampage 6 is better than on the uh, uh zenith extreme for sure um yeah all the rest of it. so cool really cool um i haven't had time to drop in the dim dog too but then again i don't have an ssd for this box just yet um, and then I had to dig out the H115i box to get the different screws because I had this on a, uh, what was it, uh, Z170 mobile before, so I used use a different set of screws. But yeah, I'm getting it in set up, first boot is powered up. And straight to the UE5. I'm just testing right now with a single HDMI cable power. What's great about the Rampage 6 is it's got a inbuilt 10 gig Quantianic. It's not a, not a daughter card. I'm running an 860 AX860i, which should be enough, but I need to order uh, a larger 1200 or 1000, whatever. But this system is going to grow over time for sure. And just to get right in the back, uh, as you can see, the data cable is missing because I don't want to boot off that. I'm just booting over the off the Fedora drive. Um, I had to add another SATA cable to power the h 115 i so that's what's plugging over there. I plugged in the uh, the fans, I need to clean the rubber zip ties and uh, yep, giving it power, Ethernet, uh, K70i, lots of dust, and then the wiring runs to my switch in the background over there. Actually, this is my switch. Let me, let me show you guys the switch. So that's the switch. There's something here that's running on. Um, no, it's, it's not 10 gig, I'm not sure what it is. Uh, wait, hang on, so is the... Oh yeah, it's it's this. It's the, uh, the Yamaha. That's why it's the... That makes sense. The Yamaha doesn't need 10 gig, seriously. That's off, but I need to replace the fan. They are just dead from the mining. The heat from the mining has killed the fan. And this is the freelance box, and you can see it's still running. There really isn't much activity in terms of lights. There's one glowy thing at the bottom there. It look, it look. Hang on, let me try to see if it's from the bottom. It's kind of hard to see. If it's let's see if this thing right back here. Wow, well, there's like no indication anymore. Well, oh, there you go. The little glowy thing, reflection. Yes, yeah, it's, it's hidden right behind. The uh, stack of hard drives. So it's really hard to say if this thing's on or off. But I just. Sorry, I hit a button and as you can see, my table's all a mess. You guys know about the mess, right? I've been telling you about the mess all this time. So once this is built and I move this out, I can clean up the part box for this build. I have one plastic box for every build essentially. I can then completely clean this out. I need to get the Synology out of here get one drive out of those three drives 
Replace a failing drive in the free NAS box. Uh, yeah. Then this needs to go somewhere over there. And I'm going to virtualize PS Sense inside it. And that box is going to go out of here. I'm going to give that to Ishan. The 670-100K. And yeah, I need to virtualize PS Sense basically. So, yeah. So this is running. I'm glad it's running. I don't have to do any more RMAs and stuff. Um, I was able to overclock the RAM to 2600 MTS. That's more than enough for basic VM use. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to be bothering. Any further with that, I just need to get the uh, 6850K back online, which is now off for the moment. I can do that on the weekend. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers, bye.